Okay, ready? Go. Mo. Hi, my name is Mo. Um, I'm currently uh, going to enter my second year at NYU. I just graduated from Hunter College High School in 2012. Uh, I've been tutoring for six years for various subjects, starting with um, regular middle school and elementary school statewide exams to prepare your child for the Hunter exam, stats and exam, uh, as well as regents, AP exams, SAT 2 subject exams, and SATs. Um, uh, I began Hunter in 2006 and I graduated in 2012. It's a six year program. There are two ways to be applicable to take the test, and it is test mandated and in order to enter the school you need to do well on the test. You only get one shot at taking a test which is in sixth grade. The students taking the test are fifth graders who have scored over 90% on both their fifth grade statewide reading and math. Um, they get, um, in the beginning of sixth grade they get a letter from their guidance counselor which lets them know that, they're, that they have been applicable to take the exam to try out for Hunter. After that, um, they take the exam, rough, roughly 3,000 students take the exam and 150 enter the school. So that's a 5% acceptance rate. Um, the rest of the students are brought up from the elementary school. Color prep is probably at 40. I'm very proud of this fact. Um, we have much higher statistic rates here. Uh, okay. Uh, the rest of the grade for Hunter at that age, about 50%, 50 of the students come from the elementary school in Hunter. The elementary school in Hunter is ran from K to 6, and the only ways to be applicable for that is that you need, you need to be residing in Manhattan, and your student also takes an exam and interview process as a kindergartner. Um, after that, you go through six years of school there. Um, a lot of students have a chance in eighth grade uh, um, to take the Stuyvesant exam for Stuyvesant, Bronx, Science, or Brooklyn Tech. Many of the students do take the exam, but very few actually leave Hunter in order to go. I was one of those students. I got into Stuyvesant with a 692. What's the uh, incoming, what's the score for Stuyvesant? Um, it's around a 565, plus or minus three points every year, based on how the group as a whole does. Bronx Science is next in line with around a 492, plus or minus three points. And then after that is Brooklyn Tech, which is around, um, So what are things you love about Hunter, hate about Hunter? What do you love about Hunter? Love about Hunter is the neighborhood, the teachers. The class, average class of a grade is 180 students. So it's very close, everyone knows each other. Throughout all six grades, you have less than 1,200 people in your school. Um, it's very easy to get to know the teachers because of the stu uh, faculty to student ratio. What are some things you don't like about Hunter? It's uh, it's a four-story building which has no windows in any of the classrooms. There's not a single window at Hunter. It's, it's nicknamed the Brick Prison. So yeah, you, you see a lot of kids usually in their free periods hanging out in the hallways. That's another thing I love, just at a very young age, you've got to manage your own time. They give you free periods throughout the school. It's open campus. You're allowed to go outside and explore as well. Um, and one of the best things about learning to manage your time at a young age is it really prepares you in the future when you'll need it. Whereas when you're managing internships, doing things outside of school as well as college. That's awesome. All right, do you guys have any quick questions about the Hunter program? Yes. Uh, about academic and Hunter. Um, academically, it's not part of Board of Ed. So it has no statewide, no regions required. Everything is done through the school's own curriculum. It's much more fast paced than it would, than it would be if you had gone to another school. I've seen a lot of my friends and in seventh grade, I was doing a lot of things that they had not done until ninth grade in a regular high school. It's like quality. So. Mm -hmm. Is it the, it's the about humanity uh, the most important? Um, it's known as a liberal arts school, but I'm, I mean, I'm in pre-med right now, and it did help me a lot with, um, it had a lot of science opportunities from science research seminar, which you can start, start as early as eighth grade, to um, math team, which has won numerous titles. And just last year, we had someone graduate who was ranked seventh internationally for 18 and under. The question is, why did I choose Hunter She's over Stuyvesant? Over Stuyvesant. Um, I was always a math and science person, but ever since coming into Hunter, I realized that I couldn't live without doing what they did there, which was the writing. I fell in love with writing there. Um, another thing is that the reason why I took the exam was to basically appease my parents. They said that you take the exam, and if you get into Stuy, we'll let you choose. If you don't, we're going to send you to a zone school. So I was going to leave. That there was either the choice of staying or you know leaving for sure. So I took the exam and I got into Stuy. I got, um, but the one of the main reasons is the friendships I built in Hunter from seventh grade on. And you know being with someone for six years is so much easier than being with someone for four years and then going off to college again. As well as Stuy has, it's a great school. It has three thousand kids. I know a lot of people in Stuyvesant that I'm meeting in college right now and someone else went to Stuyvesant with them in their same grade and they have never met before. Actually a lot of tutors have met here for the first time. 
So I find that really surprising that to go to school with someone for four years and not to even have heard of them, know them, it's kind of weird for me. So I really stuck with the six-year road. That's great. Thank you so much.